I'm supposed to be recording right now. Fuck. Sorry about that, guys. Let's get started. Welcome back to 5 Minutes of Finny. On this lovely evening, where it's fucking cold as fuck, we're going to be tasting a stout from a brewery I've had quite a few beers from. Um, it's called Blacks of Kinsale Brewery, and it's located, obviously, in Kinsale. Um, it's run by Sam and Madeline, and um, they've had you know, quite a few different beers out um, since they started in 2013. Um, their Kinsale Pale Ale, um, their Black IPA, uh, they have Rocket Ship IPA out now, um, and they did a collaboration cider with Stonewell, which was 16%, and it was gorgeous. Um, and yeah, I like, I've liked a lot of their different beers, so I tried, decided I'd try one, um, here. And it is their new, uh, limited edition, um, Model T Stout. Um, so, and it's a goddamn huge bottle. Um, but, you know. And, um, it comes in at, uh, 6.5%, so, you know. It's, you know, a nice, um, ABV for that. It's not too much, um, especially with this bottle. You know, obviously you could thankfully cap it back on if you don't want to drink it all at once. But um, and it's got a really cool label with the, the old Model T on there and compass and uh, their bird, of course, which is always on there. And uh, so yeah, and then um, they also uh, had two editions of this at the All Tech Festival that they were at recently. Um, a whiskey barrel aged um, edition and a rum barrel aged edition, and I tried both of them, and they were both uh, really, really outstanding, lovely beers. Um, sadly, they didn't bottle them, or I'd be drinking those, um, especially the whiskey aged. That's my favorite. But anywho, so yeah, that's what we're tasting, and we might as well get down to it. Nice, um, thick. That's actually a really dense head. Um, on the nose I'm getting a deep chocolate. Um, maybe a tiny hint of coffee, but not much. Really deep chocolate in the nose. And then... It's really like a very rich chocolate. You get a hint of like, a hint of coffee. A bit of, maybe a bit of mocha, um, coffee. Burnt wood, um, malt. Nice, rich, deep stout. It's a bit of nuttiness to it. Really, just getting like a lot of roasted malt flavors to that. Um, like it's been roasted in a fire, fireside beer. This would actually be perfect to sit by fire with, to be honest. On a cold night like it is right now, I would love a fire, but I don't have one. I'm stuck in my freezing house, drinking stout. But, could be worse. I could have a crappy stout, but instead I have an amazing stout. It's actually a very gorgeous stout. It's quite impressive. You know, and they sell it in an enormous bottle, which... You can never have enough stout, in my opinion. I drink stout all the time. All the goddamn time. It's my favorite beer variety. They're apparently like I think this is like a one-off special beer they're doing. They're not doing this regularly. It's not gonna be you know on their regular roster of beers, which is too bad because I'm really enjoying this and I would buy this more often if they had you know the regular um, smaller bottles of it because it's like a 6.5 percent. Like that's Good beer, like good ABV and nice, nice drinkable beer. Not too high for everyday drinking. Um, so yeah, kind of sad they're not gonna keep it, you know, around. But no, it's a, it's a great stout, and um, hoping again to try it in the future in, in the whiskey barrel aged version if I get a chance. But until then, cilantro. So that was um, Blacks of Kinsale. Their Model T. 
If you do get a chance to get your hands on it, um, I would recommend doing so. That's it for me. Um, see you next time. Cheers, so!